what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it has been a while since i've done one of these hunting vlogs i'm not with kyle or david this time i'm with my good buddy parker hawkins up? um i will make sure to leave his instagram and his youtube down in the description make sure y'all go check that out um and by good buddy i mean we literally met today he found me on instagram through somebody's uh repost some thermal company reposted one of my posts and he contacted me, said he was, he lived not too far away from me. And so we started talking, finally we met today, started hunting some of my properties. It's kind of windy, hopefully y'all can hear me. Um, but it's currently, time check is 5.30 on the dot in the morning. We started hunting, I guess about nine o'clock. We didn't really start killing pigs till midnight. Um, we just finished getting this big old boar we're gonna guess he's about 200 pounds over 200 pounds we have another boar over 200 pounds and then two other pigs we should have had at least another pig or maybe even two y'all have to look at the footage whenever i uh post it in the next clip but i i dropped a pig after a couple shots legs up and then we go look for it and it's gone. I don't know what happened to it. And then Parker must have hit some some pig, but we couldn't find it. Anyway, quick rundown of the rigs. Parker was running his 300 Blackout CMMG AR, but the Arca Swiss plate was uh, getting loose. So we switched to his, what's it called? It's a uh, Annual Defense Delta 5 Pro and 6 millimeter Creedmoor. 6 millimeter Creedmoor with the IRA GL35. I'm running the classic uh, AR chambered in 762 side charging. Switched it out with the AR Gold Trigger, one of the best triggers on the market. And then once again, the IRA Rico Mark One. Love that. We just ear hold that one. I will post a picture of that. We were really worried that we wouldn't get up to that pig because we noticed him. How far was that? Four, 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 five four or five hundred yards. We noticed him across the field. And he was right at the edge so we chased up got into about 80 yards domed him same with that pig we stocked it up it crossed the creek we were hope we, we thought it might have went down the creek and it started traveling the creek but it went across and into the next field where we found it those two pig the two smallest pigs were the first ones from the day y'all will have to see the footage um we're running low on time because it's about to get daylight soon we want to see if we want to kill a coyote and then we got to take pictures and we want to weigh these. But we will see you with either a coyote or whenever we're weighing these. Another thing, a lot of the property owners that I hunt for, they don't let us drive on the fields. For the longest time, y'all seen it in the previous videos, me and Kyle just drag these pigs for hundreds of yards. And these big pigs are a mess uh, to carry. They, are, they're, they get pretty heavy, but decided to upgrade to using a game cart. And it is a world of difference. Me and Parker started pulling this pig He's like, dude, we got to figure out a better way to do this. And I was like, oh, I just remembered I have a game cart in the bed of my truck. So, yeah, if y'all can't drive in your fields, make sure to get a game cart. It is a game changer. I wanted to quickly show y'all one trick that I learned from my good buddy Jason Brooks from Sniper Hog Lights. If y'all want to get into night vision and want a good light or just a good light in general, I carry mine around all the time. Little shameless plug. Go to Sniper Hog Lights. 
the best customer service you have ever seen in your life. I love Jason. Anywho, um, me and Kyle were talking to him at the Dell Safari Club show about how hard it was for us to throw pigs into a bed, especially in a lifted truck. He said, we're doing it wrong. Everyone always just tries to lift it up some way and it's the hardest thing in the world, especially with these big pigs that have been feeding on wheat for a little bit. Um, I'm about to show you a quick way that he taught me that is a game changer. Here's how it is. Flip it over on its stomach. And it's gonna be a two person job, but it's gonna be way easier. You lift it up and it's so much easier and just one, Two, three. Oh. Had a struggle there, but I mean, if we did it, yeah, that's a heavy pig. If we did it upside down, it would be impossible just because all the weight is on the bottom. I just wanted to quickly show you all that in case you are sometimes in the same boat as we are. All right, time check is seven o'clock on the dot. We did not see any coyotes. We got a house cat. Thought it was a bobcat for a second, but we realized it was a house cat once we saw the tail. Just finished doing the pictures. Got quite the good amount of pigs. For sure, a memorable night. Basically a memorable morning with, I mean, like, sun's just about to come out. We're about to weigh the pigs. The two, the two big ones. What do you think these are? Let's get guesses. I'm going to say... For that one first. I'm going to go, like, two, right... 202. 202? Yeah. I'm gonna go 205 on that one. That one, 215. 207. 207, all right, we'll be right back whenever we weigh those. All right, we decided to get the bigger pig up and it's right at about 210. I think I said 215, Parker said 207, so it was right in between those. I'd say it's a fairly good guess. Now let's go to the smaller pig. At least we think it's a smaller pig. Who knows? Maybe it even weighs more. Um, we'll be right back with that. So we've been using my truck all night. We're using the truck to uh, lift the pigs up. But my truck has been at zero miles for the past... How long, how long have I been zero miles at? For like 10 miles now? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, so we'll see if we can make it to the nearest gas station. I don't know how far the nearest gas station is, but I'm kind of worried about it. Now let's take a look at this pig. What are we at? Holy. Look at that. Two thirty. Is that 230? No, 240. 240. Wow, I really thought that pig, actually, yeah, I thought that pig was smaller. You thought that pig was smaller too, didn't you? Wow, we were way off, but yeah, that's good. Um, anyway, we'll probably call it there. We had a great time helping these landowners make sure to check out my instagram it'll be in the description his instagram will be in the description make sure to like and subscribe uh make sure to comment something ask any questions in the comments i will do my best to answer them i will see you on the next one see ya